Uh, now I'm going to talk about the APA reference list with the examples. Uh, it consists of more than 97 presentation slides are there, but I'm not focusing the, all the things uh, because as a examination point of view, I may focus on only the few things only. Parallelly, this questions, hopefully at least two or three questions may come from this part in the uh, uh, net examination questions. If you look into the previous past question paper, at least one or two questions in the first paper itself is related to the APA reference manual uh, based some questions may be there. Um, in the come to the case of the second chapter, second um, paper, I am sure at least two questions may come to the APA. That is why I request you all to look on this. Yes, this is my agenda. These are things I may focusing today. Uh, introductions of the references format and reference list, the elements of the reference and reference categories. These are things I may focus on. Uh, the first thing I may focus on, what is, uh, what is need for the, this kind of references in the dissertations or the thesis. Even um, still the people having the conclusions where we can use the thesis, where we can uh, use the term as a dissertation. In the context of the PhD level, we can use the term as a dissertation. For the MMED or master degree level, if you're doing any project work, any research work, we may call as a thesis. So this is the same thing some countries they're using as a ULTA. Some of the countries uh, previous as a thesis uh, as well as the master degree as a dissertations, but um, we have to keep it properly. So as a uh, Indian sectors, we are using as a uh, MMED as a uh, thesis and previous as a dissertation. Some countries may be differ. Uh, because sometimes you may be confused which is a thesis, which is a dissertation. So that's why I'm giving the clarity now itself. What is the need for the reference? Uh, even while writing as an assignment itself, we are using the reference. The end of the uh, the assignments to be over, the end of the conclusion, we are adding some kind of a reference list. Um, what is the difference between reference and uh, bibliography? The people are always confusing the two terms, reference and bibliography. But AP is uh, suggesting to go with the reference only, not for the bibliography. Uh, where we can use the bibliography in doesn't suppose uh, I am cited only five articles. Uh, suppose I'm writing an article, a research article, it consists only the five citations. It means that in the text, I may highlight the five members, five authors' names somewhere in my text with years also. So after highlighting some kind of five uh, citations, when you come to down the end of the uh, article, we may highlight the only the five references. For example, if you have five citations, if you quoted the particular citations, descriptions only in the reference part, we can use the term as a reference. But only the five citation, but in the bibliography, um, where we can use the bibliography in the sense, uh, instead of five citations, you are using only five citations. But in the case of the, the end of your sections, you are adding 10 uh, references. 10 part of references you are adding. It means that, that is called bibliography. Bibliography, if you are using the bibliography in the sense, which are the references you are adding, the bibliography part, uh, it uh, all the references which are incorporating the bibliography don't need for the as a citations. But if you are using as a reference as an example, a reference as a heading, uh, suppose if you are adding the 10 uh, references in the end of the research article, damn sure there is a 10 citation, it should be the text. So this is why we can go. This why we can uh, go um, for this kind of uh, APA style. Before going to that, I may highlight the two terms. What is the difference between citation and reference? The people having the uh, doubt about the reference and citation. See here, the end of the chapters we are using is here. Uh, even the dissertation uh, you are going to do a, a MR thesis. No, that time you can use this kind of reference part. This kind of reference part. In the end of the chapter, all, all the few chapters go over, we have to keep uh, this kind of references. This for the reference. So reference means that it may be the end of the text only. Uh, even if you are using this uh, assignment also, the end of the, after the conclusion only, we can use the reference. But what is the citation? For example, I'm using the Aga, here one name, Alas Don, then Abu Bakr. So like that each person's, uh, his contributions and uh, year of publication, everything it is there. But where we can use this references part as a citation in the sense, normally in the context of the, just I'm opening the one research report, it may be, uh, you can easy to understand how they making, just I'm coming back to the, the my scholars, yeah. Just I'm showing the one of my oldest students' dissertations, uh, um, thesis copy to you. 
Yes, see here. So this is one topic. Uh, I'm keeping like this: the chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. Then finally, references. Like that only it comes. So the references should be the end of the text only. But in the citations, it may comes in any chapters. If you are adding the um, citation, we have rights to add the citation at anywhere, even the first chapter, second chapter, and third chapter. But particularly, the second chapter consists of citations only. because we are using as a review of later lectures the review of later lecture is nothing but the citations work of the the people just i'm showing the the citations thing see here just i'm opening the uh the second chapters uh second chapters so now it's open see here this is second chapter when you are doing the second chapter you can understand what is the reference what is the citation see here here the topic related to the online um online examination that is the research scholar is doing some kind of uh, reviews so it's reviews nothing but the past reviews we can highlight here uh, for example con and con 2019 see here this con and con 2019 so we are giving these uh, the author's name parallel the years if you look on to the next one you can see the other's name see here the patents derwick and award 2019 so in the text if you are adding this kind of name with the year then is called citation citations the citation there is a two types are there while i am discussing the ap style i may focus on what is the citations or, or different types of citations and all so this is called citation for example uh, if you are adding this uh, citation bahar and ashil 2018 we should be in the uh, reference part just i am just copying this one i am coming back to the uh, reference part of the uh, uh, the same researcher Just I'm going with the control F. See here the name. Just I'm copying with Bakar. See here, Bakar Mustak and Asil Mustak. So I hope now you are getting. We have to add the citation in the text up to the fifth chapters. All the citation which you are using the all the text, all the five chapters, that descriptions uh, where you found who is the writer, which year uh, they wrote. that descriptions you can add as a reference part in the separate as a reference section so i hope now you are getting um i why i am using the reference that suppose i am having the 50 uh, 50 references i am incorporating here in the sense there is a 50 citation should be in the text if you are using as a reference but i am using as a bibliography but the bibliography i am using 50 uh, this kind of small small references uh, bibliography But if you look under the citation, no need for the 50. It may be a 20 itself enough the citation. Um, particularly the bibliography is the terms. Particularly uh, the language people are may use the language background people. Particularly for those who are doing the research in English. Uh, for uh, why in the sense uh, they may be refer, they may do some kind of content analysis only particular book. Only. For that they are referring the different different books. But that books they won't be cited at any corner of the dissertations work of them. therefore they are using the term as a bibliography but in the context of the apm manual they focusing we can go with the uh, references only i hope now we are getting citation should be in the chapters it may be it may be the chapter 1 or chapter 2 or chapter 3 normally the second chapter consists of the citation so like gast barley 2018 what is research work what he highlighted in his research work then grass has it like that we are giving the the citation in the all the chapters Uh, how we can check this um, uh, citation? We can incorporate in the uh, reference part in the sense. Just I am copying this one. If I go to the, the reference section of that particular research work, just I am copy pasting the garas. Immediately you are getting the garas. Just we see see here. Uh, garas dot s has in yeah. Normally in the reference we are using a say uh, what is that? Uh, uh, initial. As well as the and symbol, then comma, full stop. Everything should be meaningful here. So we could not be avoid. Suppose if I uh, remove this comma, it's totally uh, unfair in the context of the AP manual because each full stop, each comma is very much important in the AP style. So that's we have to look on it much. These are things only I am focusing. Uh, but the reference it consists of uh, initial and uh, uh, yeah, this kind of extra things are there. But in the context of the uh, citation, there is no uh, initial. See here, in the citation, no need for the initial. Only the first name should be there. Only the first names of the author, 
should be in the citation but in the reference body you can add the initial surname everything you can add it so this is a two different things i am introducing now just i mount my ppt i am going to be highlight one by one what is the need for the uh, reference part actually the reference list it may be uh, what why we have to use this kind of reference part in the uh, as in the dissertation work for example um, the last year one of my students did a say online examination attitude suppose the same study uh, someone or some kind of similar study someone want to be go further um, so what they want to do they will come to our department library they will check the um that uh, dissertation work done by the one candidate but parallelly there is uh, that particular candidate which uh, the candidate finished the research work in last year she kept in the reference part uh, the involvement of the reference part may help to the, the new research in the sense they may explore the uh, the uh, what is the, the topics she is going to be adopt that kind of uh, uh, work uh, she may get lot of input from the reference part it Uh, from the reference part if you look on to the the names of the author the journal name books names then we can find in the online sources that particular sources then we can explore lot of new information related to the uh, research uh, what you are going to be adopted now so normally the reference list it may be used and uh, we may add in the end of the paper provides the information necessary to identify and refer to each work cited in the text it may be good for the the forthcoming so those who are going to be do your research in the future um uh, based on your research work that is why we can use the reference list um, compulsory without the reference list if you are uh, you uh, what is the doing the research it's it may come under the plagiarism also because our uh, you may write the 100 page but all the 100 page ideas not yours you may keep you may keep you may use some of the ideas of them but you are not giving the acknowledgement you are not giving the citation for them it is also come under the plagiarism that's why Uh, if you are adopting someone's information or someone's idea, you should give the citation. If you are giving us a citation, damn sure you can add the the reference part, the particular cited people's uh, descriptions in the reference part. This is why, uh, because of reasons only, uh, all the researchers uh, they will look on, they will strictly look on this kind of um, reference part. Uh, even the last class we are talking about the ethical consideration of the uh, research report, a uh, research uh, researcher. and uh, there i am highlighting lot of ethical uh, research ethics and all this also may come under this because if you are not giving the proper citation the uh, author what is the work is adopted by from your end it's totally it's unfair uh, it's not ethics also that's why as a researcher we should follow strictly follow the research ethics the best research ethics we have to give the proper citations if you are using someone's information or someone's ideas and all just i am moving to the format of the reference list and uh, this is why the format of the reference list uh, they suggest by the ap the first thing the behind the reference list on the new page after the text so what it means so for example there is a five chapters after the five chapters only we have to go with a reference part that's why begin the reference list on the new page after the text you could not be go for the for example in the fifth chapter it may conclude it may end with uh, uh, the first two lines of the first in the page so you could not be add the the reference part uh, in between the um, fifth chapters it will be, you can use a different uh, new sheets the new sheets only we can start a reference part and place the sections label references as a top of the page and center that's why i am showing this one see here uh just i'm showing the word file then you can understand um uh, now the research scholar what she did what she did in the sense so using a new paper in this is started as a reference as a center so this is important so the reference should be the center not in the left element don't use this kind of left element or right element it should be a center so that short form you know control e is a short form for the central element then the next thing uh, order of the reference list entries alphabetically by author so even you can go with 100 reference or 200 reference but the main thing the reference should be in a alphabetical order see here just i am showing the reference uh, with not in the chronological order chronological order in the sense is like a year based uh, chronological order is a year based uh, this is an alphabetical order See here, Abu Bakr, A, B. 
the first a everything a then next to b so like that it comes up to the z so it means that uh, whenever you are adding any references it should be in a alphabetical order so it may comes up to z see here e q r s p in this order only have to be e for the references i hope now you understand what are the three points we discuss uh, the reference page it should be comes in new page only then the second thing the reference heading should be the center the third thing the order uh, which you are going to follow in the ap according to the ap it should be alphabetical it should be alphabetical this is the basic thing next thing double space the entire reference list so what is double space so last time also when i talking about the pagination we are talking about this one uh, this is for for example i am selecting all so this page i am selecting control t so control 2 this is for the the spaces so the line spaces the line space should be a 2 it's not 5 previously it was 5 but according to the ap side they suggest to go with it 2 okay so we know how to do a this kind of page initial setting if you go with right click you are getting the paragraph after selecting this one if you go with the paragraph you are getting the line spacing in this line spacing you are getting the double right that short form of the double is called control 2 you can press the control 2 together you may get this kind of the double space options this is another important uh, features sometimes this kind of questions may come how many spaces you have to give according to the APA in the net examination so double space the entire reference is the main thing apply the hanging indent of 0.5 inch so what is the 0.5 inch so what you found from this uh, see here I am showing you one thing the reference actually I am having this one reference the second reference third reference and fourth reference normally when you go for any paragraph what did happen just I am showing so normally when you go for a paragraph it comes like this so the first line only is like it may goes like this so this is for the normal paragraph this is for the normal paragraph normally the paragraph is like this but in the context of the reference it should not be like this it should be a left alignment as justified only it should justify okay so but only the thing uh, for example i have the two i am going to make it the two reference only uh, based on the apa and the first line second line third line of the the reference the first line second line third line of this reference what i'm going to do just i'm keeping this one five spaces five inches then after this i'm selecting the first two part only i'm keeping here so it means that the starting line of the reference should be the the left alignment left alignment the second line of the reference should be the five spaces it should be five spaces the third also so from this you can easily find out that this is called first reference second reference third reference we can easily come for conclusion how many references you are adding we don't use any numbers some people are using one two like this this is totally wrong so according to the ap style we don't use any kind of numbers this is why we have to be uh, make it unique uh, of each references so this is the things only they suggested see here apply hand intent of five inch point five inches to each reference list entry meaning that the first line the first line of the reference to flush left and subsequent lines are intent to five inches so these things only i focus it one thing i'm showing the word pack so now we are getting this one reference this is a second reference and uh, the reference should short now uh, uh, should uh, start from the the left element only it should be the left because the margin start from here only we start start from the left margin but the second line it should go to the 0.5 inches 0.5 inches third line if you have the fourth line also it's in the next one so from this from this we can easily found this the first reference second reference third reference and from this we can easily come for count, um, easy to counting the number of reference which you incorporate for your reference one so this is why we can uh, make it as a format i hope now we are getting the format the format of the reference list the reference list should be in the beginning uh, you can use the new sheets only for example the fifth chapter there is a space after the fifth chapter you don't continue the reference in the in between uh, 
the page is not continuous and so for uh, reducing the spaces we don't you know, what is that uh, insert the that reference part in the fifth chapter so the reference part should be the next to the end of the fifth chapter only uh, and the reference as a heading should be the center all the reference should be in alphabetic order double space you have to give and 0.5 inches the next thing order of the work uh, reference list what are the order we have to look on it i already mentioned that it should be a alphabetic order but uh, sometimes the people having the doubts with the first name last name for example uh, in the tamil nadu and all my name is kethiya okay k represent initial so my father name is here um, uh, it start from k that is why the kethiya which comes but if you go for the this kind of riches report right? i can write the name as tyagu comma k so tyagu is my name that's called first name that initial is a last name or you can use as a surname also so it means that tyagu comma k just i'm going to write how we can write in the research purpose uh, see here i'm just writing t h i y i am writing my name i y a g u so this is tyagu comma k so then full stop so the comma full stop everything should be very much meaningful here uh, and the next thing for example uh, the same tyagu itself there is a two articles you are adding as a reference that's why here they given some other example sometimes you are using the same name for example see here there is a five uh, nearly uh, five uh, pattern is there you want to add the the pattern yes and the five articles in your research what what you have to do uh, just i'm going to select the pen this yeah see here here you are finding the five pattern but um, according to the um, ap study you already knows that you have to go with alphabet but in the pattern itself it may comes in order how we can keep the order uh, suppose the pattern if you want to add the five names of pattern the reference part you can go with this nd represent no date suppose we have some references but the reference is not having the date you can add a say first reference of the pattern the second one 2016 and uh, the third one 2020 for example the particular person the pattern is published the article 2022 times two times so the you are going to add the two articles with the same author but they published the two the same year lessons what do you have to do 2020 first article represent e 2020 b second article uh, in 2021 also i am going to publish one article for example patel yes and he is going to publish one article it is in the press he is going to publish in the 2021 and but now it's the printing stage so you knows that it may be that particular candidate you are using as citations the same thing you, how we can use as in reference in the sense you can use as a name as a in press so this will be if you are finding the same name but the different year we can go with this kind of order see the next thing in this case uh, see this case uh, david okay so here the first name say davisons division the two or uh, two uh, article i made quoted in the reference part but the one article the two names are there it's like a corresponding author but how we can add the same name twice is comes in the reference part what you have to do you can add the single author first then uh, the multiple author no it will be comes as second if in the case of the same author comes twice the next thing the multiple author in this case only one author is to be common but the this author is to be new that is why we are going with this but in this example both the authors are same see here there is a author here also author both the authors are same but you are going to use the two articles and you want to keep it as a reference uh, but the articles published to 2013 and 2014 you have to keep this order the old one i mean uh, which is here uh, things is published yearly you can keep it as a first order then second is 2014 but in this context see here there is a uh, jackson and jackson's the first name is same the first name is same but the second name the second author should be differ but what you can do according to the first name it should be both in the same position but in the context of the second name duncan and raymond so what it comes automatically d is comes in alphabetical first therefore we can duncan is we can add as a first reference process by the raymond so this why so 
once you look once the first author is to be same you can see the second author from the second author alphabetical we can keep it as an order now the same thing here the first author second author same first author and second author same third author only change it what you have to do so you can keep it these two things equally but we have to look on this one only so p and w so in this case p comes in advance before the w therefore we can use park as a first reference proceeds by this one so this way we can keep the order in the reference part so very very small but it's very much cautious that is why i am always telling that the ap manual for small comma full stop spaces everything is to be much meaningful be cautious while using this kind of ap and the next thing suppose you are using a same author on same day so here same author only two authors are there but the problem with uh, the three articles i am using in the same year with the same authors what you can do we can give based on the month based suppose this article published in the month of january you can use the term as a then second article published in march so b the third april so based on the order a year also we can keep it in order in this case same month and the same date you can go with the same date means same year so same date means don't think that the same date they publish it's like the same year so this is why we have to keep the order just i'm going to compiling this one uh, this is a format of the reference format of reference which we uh, discussed in advance the pages of uh, reference page should be start from the middle page reference as a heading it comes in the center it should be alphabetical double space and 5.5 inches in the uh, um, inches intent we have to keep in the second line and third line or the fourth line of the reference the order should be like this that's why they're giving one more uh, small icon see here there is here terms they are using uh, nothing close it something so inside the other pen let me see for you so sometimes you are finding the same author twice same author twice first author i'm talking about the first author is same in this case uh, otherwise uh, sometimes you are finding the the first four letters are look like a same of the two authors there is here two uh, authors names Lo uh, loft comma vh there is a one author with the initial the second author uh, the other uh, other uh, article is written by the lofters e then which things comes first in the sense in this two normally l o f t comma there is a it means that his name is to over after that there is a space then initial v dot h but in this case see here the first four letters are the both the persons are same but what is the issues here the next letter of them is u only in the second r here but here there is a space therefore what in what manner we can keep the order in the sense nothing presides presides something it means that the four letters are look like a same for both them. but the next letter when we look on it if you are getting the spaces are empty uh, but the other uh, uh, names of the the particular author having some letters better to can give the preference for the uh, nothing so you uh, there is a space of, so it means it may comes first one it may comes first after this only that and this particular author reference should be comes there so this is why we can keep uh, the order the same thing only uh, here i am discussing see here there is a names benjamin just i am comparing uh, if you are understanding this one is is pen there is a benjamin as another article ben yoka which ones comes first in the sense see this case the first three letters are common so ben ben it's common but in this case uh, i already mentioned that j is the next letter of the benjamin but in this case there is a space but after this space what is the letter you are finding y therefore which is comes first j or y so according to the alphabetical j may comes before the y therefore we can go with benjamin as presides ben yako so this is all we have the same thing then kin nk one reference then one is another reference then devins the three references start from the d there is a three reference start from the d how we can add this reference in order in this case see here the first two letters are same the first two letters are same in all the three all the three all the three 
but the next letter see the next letter here n here is a o here is a p therefore what is the order in the third letter we can keep that order only so in this case uh, n so after the n only o after one o only the b may come therefore this is an order dense in nk precedes with d1 is c precedes with devil in jt so if you are finding the same name uh, same way uh, same letter starting um you cannot be comfort decisions about the, the first two letter three letters we can go with the next letter it's not common to the, the author's names in this see here there is a ibn abdullah then ibn indal so in this case here also space here also space after we been what it comes first time in this a here it comes n therefore according to the alphabetical order a is comes before the n therefore we can keep this order so these are the small small things we have to look at much while making a reference part yeah this are some of the abbreviations this also may come to the net examination question ed dot so there is a dot see here ed it is not a capital letter some people writing like this ed it is sorted wrong so e should be a small letter while using any abbreviation in the reference ed dot represent editions reb dot ed represent revised edition second ed dot second editions ed represent editors ed is represent edition editors that is why they are using the two terms see here if you are putting the capital e it is called editor if you are using the small e it's called editions there is a two difference meaning that's why for each letter capital letter small letter comma full stop is very much meaning in the characters and the context of the apa then they are using as a trans what is it called translator p represent the page pp represent pages para paras uh, para represent paragraph if you are adding yes this is called paragraphs vol volumes volumes no represent number pt represent part tech rep represent technical report sub uh, dot l it means called supplement this are the abbreviations when we have to use it uh, in the apa next i am going to talk about the element of the reference uh in the element of the references uh, there is a four elements so whenever you are using the uh, apa we can use the four references uh, four elements just i am highlighting the reference part uh the reference the first part is called author name see here so everywhere you finding the author the author is the first element the second element is a year so the first is the author after the author what you are getting the year or date the second element of the reference part is date or the year the third part is called title title of the work which is done by the the particular author that's called title of the work uh, the third one is a source so where you found this information where you found this particular uh, information for example i am going to um, find some uh, materials from the facebook so what is my source facebook url is my source and there someone is writing for example sufair is posting the facebook therefore sufair is the author so which date he is publishing that it should be comes here then what is the content he posting in the social media that is should be the title of the work should be in this highlighted part and uh, this is a part is called a uh, the you what is that he post in the uh, facebook no that things may comes here so this is called sources so in this manner we can divide the the reference the reference part in a four elements this also may comes to the examinations how many elements in the references according to the apa there is a four reference um this four references uh, we may get the answer for this um the first element author the author represent who is responsible for this work who is responsible for the work then second question when was this work published so that answer also we may get it the third one title of the work so what is the work is called so this person she knows what work he did that work we have to give as a title the last one is called source uh, where can i retrieve this work it may be offline maybe online where you found this information that source you have to keep in uh, properly so these are the four elements is important uh, just i move to the uh, important uh, aspects of the the format of the author format and uh, this powerpoint i may share to you kindly look on it before going to the uh, this description just i am going to give start with the example itself see here 
suppose uh, only the one author so the particular article or particular book is written by the only one author single author in the sense you have to write the name like this for example author uh, suppose the article is written by prasanna prasanna initial is n for example so the prasanna comma uh, n full stop so in this case two initials are there but in the case of prasanna case what is the initial p i am writing like this p r a yes uh, a n a prasanna then one comma then small space you had to give one space then after that her initial n then full stops then full stop if you are finding only one single author so uh, this is why we had to write as a reference as a author name suppose there is a double author anita and prasanna what we can do so in this case author name anita or prasanna first first author is prasanna in the sense prasanna comma en full stop so this is not needed and simply second author no and then anita there is a space anita for example anita initial is r comma space r capital r then full stop it's not needed so for each full stop comma is to be important if you want i will highlight the process once again uh, how we can write in the sense see here yes i am erasing it in this case uh, author see here author comma space there is a space in between there is a space in between then initial full stop one space this two things important because it's containing the second author no full stop comma if you only one author no need for the comma if you are containing the second author comma then there is a space then and there is a space then author first author name second author name then comma then there is a space initial if you are continuing with the same author's initial then go with then full stop yes now is correct bhavana is correct arya is correct exactly exactly now uh, shri vidya with surya is correct now i request you all to go with the three authors go with the three author you can add one more author you can type as an example so the third with the three or more authors how we can write this is an example see the things i am quoted here the first author comma is the second author also is comma and the third author full stops even the comma full stop spaces everything is to be much important the ap um the same questions may come to the examination of the uh, net examination that's why i, I am telling to be a right to know yourself uh, i request you all to add uh, along with your names the two more numbers two more names and type the uh, ap of the um, what is the, the format of the author format of the author yes arya uh, comma m very good and das comma m dot comma space and ajita yeah exactly arya is correct arya is correct good arya then uh, anita also is correct very good anita you also did correctly so now i hope now you understand how we can write as a author author in the reference part so can i move to the next level the same manner suppose if you have the 21 author see here there is an another example there is a 21 author if you are going with the 3 to 20 authors the same pattern but if you are having more than 21 author what you have to do no you can go with the 19 authors up to that then after 19th of, uh, authors you can go with the dots like a uh, three dots like extra no the three dots then for the last author. for example 50 authors they write in the same article what you have to do 19 author you can write first name and initial then after the 19th author you can give the three dots then you can add the last names this way we have to add the author name uh, saranya is correct good 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 so i'm so happy uh, now you are crystal clear about the author work crystal clear about the author work next for next thing the date how we can add the the date may be a year year month year and month or year and session normally uh we are using only the year only when we can use the month and day in the sense suppose updated version suppose i am using a book the book is only one time only we publish our second edition third edition may be coming 
so when you talking about the books we can use as a edition but if you look onto the website every day they update update today information won't be the tomorrow tomorrow information won't be won't be then the next uh, next uh, and day after tomorrow there what we can do when you highlighting the information in the web sources in the website you can go with the day and month but in the context of the books or the journal no need to be highlight the month and uh, date only the years is enough so this is why the date we have to highlight just i am going to give some example how to write a date now uh, in the year see here if you are making is a year of publication 2020 after the year you can what is that the year should be in the bracket the year should be a bracket parenthesis then here i don't keep any space see here after the bracket immediately you can write the year then <coughs> close it then put stop then month day suppose you are using a uh, uh, some kind of uh, articles in the facebook you can highlight the years sir date also because sometimes uh, today you are posting tomorrow you are posting different things uh, today that message will be the tomorrow you may be deleted that's why whenever highlighting any sources from the next source you have to add the date also suppose you are publishing the article in the next year only but that article i want to be quoted now itself i can use the term in press instead of a year i can use the in press suppose we know that the next year only you are going to publish it if you confirm that you can use the year suppose there is a work aristotle i didn't found the year of publications i didn't found the year of publication i can use the term as a ca i can use the term as a ca ca represent kaira uh, uh, cyrax sorry saika so this questions may come to the next in next examinations suppose the particular author the author name is aristotle but you are not finding which year he published the article or published that work so what we can do it's like approximate year only no therefore what you can do we can use as a approximate uh, we can use the term as a ca then uh, if you are not finding any date we can use, use the term nd nd d nd d suppose i am writing uh, i am publishing one article in this year in this 2020 kindly check i am typing my name tiago kama k full stop then there is a space then 2020 then full stop so this is my uh, reference part uh, format first author name after the author name year i i hope you are seeing these things the same manner you can type it here the same manner you can type it just i am sharing the uh, one uh, format to you say here uh, there is a uh, once again kindly check here A- abubakar first name then a first name is to go over then and space uh, uh, adibaya comma f dot o then full stop so here there is a space then bracket 2014 then full stop so this is a part i am talking still now i am talking about this part only so what is the part is incorporated here first is the author part second is the date year so the same manner i can start to type you type us type us in the chat box yeah prasanna comma e dot correct 2020 yes so after the parenthesis you have to finish make it the full stops so see here i am going with the control l uh, tiago i am typing my tiago comma space k then one full stop that there is a space you have to give one space then bracket don't give any spaces you can write type 2000 or 2010 so then one full stop so this is why we have to write author as well as the <coughs> yeah very good very good suppose um, this now i am going to explain the question there is a two author myself and uh, uh, saranya we are publishing the article in 2020 what i am going to do see here this one single author the second author what you can do you can do a comma then give us an and symbol after and symbol i can type the saranya name s h a r a n i o y a saranya then comma her initial is b then full stop there is a space then year 2020 then one full stop i request all you can add one more name along with you you can type the format apm format so now you are adding with your name with year 
with the year that the, the two elements over the first element author element the second element is a year element i request to all to type uh, with your friends name also with your friends name also with uh, the year with year of publications i request all to type I request all the time. Um, so still now I get only the one person's names only. Adira, uh, Shanti. So everything Shanti is correct. Drisha is correct. Uh, Shanti, uh, what is the issue in the sense? Uh, in your case, uh, you are uh, uh, what is that? Uh, you are um, sorry. Uh, initial should be a capital letter. So because you are keeping C is a small letter, your initial should be a capital letter. Ah, okay. So any other? I request all to type your names along with your friends also. Uh, you can add the year. And uh, and sent me and sent in the chat box. Yes, Saranya, comma B, full stop, comma very good space and Sarak, comma B dot two two twenty exactly. Saranya is correct. Saranya is correct. Other another Anushri is very good. Anushri correct. Anushri correct. Good. Bhavana correct. Bhavana you are also correct. Anita and Sharad correct. Anita also correct. Arya Das M very good. correct. Then Laya, Surya, correct. Yes, Sri Vidya is correct. Oh, very good, very good. So, so happy. Now you can understand. Uh, I hope you now you are uh, understand the exact. Uh, Sashwati Gobal, there is some mistakes from your end. Um, what you did in the sense, uh, just I'm keeping, uh, just I'm copying and pasting and uh, editing the, your process. What you did in the sense, uh, there is a problem with the Aradi. Then full stop, you can give one space. Then B, then full stop. You have to give one space. After this, only 2020. You are not giving the spaces because in the APA spaces also it will be counted. It make treat the same mistakes only. So B cross is only. Okay. Yes. Next one. So the two parts to go over. I'm going to talk about the third part. Third part is called as here uh, title. Title of the work. Title of the work. The title of the work. So now Shanti is correct. Just I'm moving to the third part. The third part is talking about the title. Now, when the title is a two part of title, one is a standalone title, standalone work, or the greater work. What is a standalone? Suppose uh, while writing a article, uh, sorry, if I, while I'm writing a textbook myself and guide, it may be single book only. So only the two authors may write this book. But in the case of the context of the journal and all. See if you look onto the some of the online journals, journals, uh, editor someone's reviewer someone's, but the article more than ten articles. Each article written by someone's. For example, in our class there is a twenty students are there. All the twenty students are contributing your articles based on your research work. And finally, and what is that? I convert that entire article in a journal based. So what it means? Each person is a contributor. Each person is a contributor, but I am collecting the all the eighteen members' work, and finally I convert it to a single book. It means it's a, like a collaborative work. It's called as a greater a whole. So if you go with a single work, single person work or two person work in a single work in a standalone work, you can go with a different manner of title. But if you're going with a collective work, collective work of uh, five or six person, they are contributing different different work. Then finally you're comparing and publishing in a single book. That is an that is called greater work. Uh, that things I will focus in here. If you are going with the stand alone work, stand alone work in the sense like a book, best example book report and web page and website. Because normally the web page and website is written by a single person only. Uh, so the books, reports, web pages and websites. It's not a collaborative work. It's like a single work. Even the books may be write two or three people, but once you publish, it's a stand alone work. A single book is written by two people. That's not each other three people. But the journal article is called as a greater whole. Why in the sense the particular book consists of more than fifty articles. Each fifty article is written by different peoples. So that is called a greater whole. So what we can do is see here if we are using a stand alone work like a book or report or a web page or websites, uh, the title should be italic. The title should be italic. Then. It will be capitalized. Only the first letter should be capitalized. See this case, the regular mark is called title. So Burgess, comma R. There is a space R. Full 
space 2019 now there is a space after that i am starting the the book title so this is called book title rethinking global health is a book title it should be italic it should be italic see here uh it should be italic letter what i did the first letter r capital letter then after this colon this, because this total is a book name the first letter of the colon framework also a first capital letter so this is called stand alone work stand alone work is come under the books three pages only the same thing if you are using a ci journal work if you are using a ci journal work because journal work you knows uh, it's a lot of people are contributing finally we are compiling and we are publishing as a journal but in the context suppose anderson he is contributing one article in the journal the this journal is called source it is not a title the source i am talking about next time but if you are using a ci greater whole work their contributions because the anderson em wrote this uh, article getting consistent with consequence it is an article written by him but this article published in this journal so this is called source but i am me talking about now this one only this is called uh, title only so what is the articles written by this person this is getting consistent with consequence suppose if you are adding the work of the peoples of the greater whole work don't use the cap italics don't use the italics but capital letter only the first letter should be capital letter so i hope now you are getting the meaning uh the same way here i am see here the author name and year this a work family therapy is a work because it is a stand alone work is a book work therefore it's a italic but this also italic this also book work therefore it's a italic uh yeah so this o exam just i am going back to the my uh work for example uh, myself and saranya published one book Uh, related to the uh, ICT in education, ICT in education. See here, ICT in education. I am writing the title, ICT in education. This is an article or book published by the both Yago and Saranya. That what I am going to do after typing the book name, I can make it a full stop. Then the next thing it may be italic. See here, it's an italic. If it is. book work if it is a book work suppose myself and uh, saranya is writing one journal article this is a book reference just i am keeping as a book reference book reference is a stand alone work what is stand alone work the entire book is written by the, the two people only tyaga and saranya but in the case of the journal it's not a i am going to journal example this is journal what is journal represent it is a group work it's a greater work uh because the general consists of 50 articles one of the article published myself and the, um, saranya together we published one article it's called ict in education so in this case the same it is a book title that's why i'm giving it as italic but here no need for italic if you are using as a journal name i hope if if you are writing the books in the title of ict in education should be italic in the context of the journal you are writing the same article the title is icd education but it in the, it's called the greater whole work you don't use this in italic after the title you can put full stop both is full stop both is full stop now i request you all you can type your name year and you can write which book you want to write just you can uh, this same enough you can type in the chat box uh, suppose i am writing like this so myself only i am writing one book the agu k 2020 2020 so just i am full stop the books i am going to write uh, psychology of learning psychology of learning so psychology of learning full stop so i hope now you are seeing the the format uh, the three format we are discussing one is the author format date format now i am going to talk about the title title of the work the contributors i request you all the same way you can type in the chat box you can imagine one book so like you were which book you want right uh, so now you can type as a book based so but only the thing the psychology of learning is to be a italic but here i we cannot make it as italic that's why uh, you can type as the same you we cannot make it as italic very good surya comma k dot 2020 full stop my dear exactly surya correct anita r 2020 full stop study up and very good anita very good saranya Philosophy of very good, exactly. So you all are correct. 
so the same because in the context you are writing is a standard on work but only the things uh, the article so the book title should be in italic but in the google's uh, meet we cannot make this italic that's why you are making this uh, as it is very good book right so i hope you don't have the uh, don't have the doubt about the three parts what are the part we are discussing the first part is called author this is called author part the second part is called date part or year part the third part is called the third part is called title so title represent the work is written by the, the authors yeah the last part i am going to talk to you the last part are you ready the last part i am going to talk to you is sources sources so here i am coming to the source the same manner the sources also there is a two parts one is called uh, stand alone work as is a greater whole so stand alone work in the sense book stand alone in the sense book uh, in the context of greater whole is nothing but the journal works just time coming back on example so j- this is only the example for the journal it's only for the example of journal normally the journal consists of the volume number issue number page number and all uh, if you want i will highlight in the google scholar also so just uh, i am opening the google scholar and explaining this one only the things you have to look on this this is only for the journal i am talking about only the journal so journals may come under the may come under the uh, i already mentioned may come under the uh, what is a greater greater whole work okay now see here normally the name, this called source source means uh, for example saranya b 2020 classify education the work did by the saranya sai but she published this work in the one journal that name of the journal it should be a capital letter only the first letter should be capital uh, as under the using title cash suppose that uh, particular journal uh, entire letters to be capital you can use the capital letter entire letter uh it should be italic it should be italic only in the context only in the context of the uh the journal journal title then place a comma not a full stop after the journal name you can keep it a comma you can keep the comma then after the comma you can use the volume number you can use the volume number the volume number also italic the volume number should be a number see here there is a number 76 uh just i'm going to compare with this so this is author name this a year this a work did by the the person so all right so up to this we knows now i move to the, the last page this is called as a source page so this work is did by him where the work he found in the sense there is a journal book that is called education leadership see here this education leadership is in italic so it should be italic after the italic i am putting a comma this it's comma it's needed comma there is a gap one gap is needed after this volume number so the volume number of this journal is 76 this also should be italic the number 76 also italic then after the number volume number it should be a issue number this issue number should be in the bracket the issue number should be a bracket and the issue number 1 then after the bracket to be over it should be a comma it should be a comma then one space after the space there is a page number you have to add the page number the page number not be italics it should be a range based the range should be 20 for example the page number of the article 26 to 33 so the dash is called n dash we are using the term is n dash so this is why we have to keep it much this is called source this particularly for the i am talking about the periodical source journal sources just i am coming back to the my word file there i am going to highlight some example yes, see here this is a journal article so these three parts you knows just i am going with the sources what i going to do ict edu- in education is written by myself on article my avita saranya i am going to add the sources now what is the sources i wrote this article in one uh, journal no the journal name is journal in education journal so journal of education the journal name is called journal of education comma there is a volume number we journal have the volume number volume number is 5 after that i had to open the bracket issue number there is a issue number 2 there is a issue number 2 then bracket close then one second comma one second comma 
this article page it's come from the 13th page to 17th page so page number 13 to 17 so this is called sources but what it did in the sources i already mentioned the two parts to be italic what are the parts to be italic journal name as well as the volume number see here journal name comma space and volume number should be italic just i'm going to convert as italic see here i'm convert as italic i'm making the italic as a red color then the bracket won't be italic the bracket and issue number not in italic then finally comma there is a space uh, my article start from page number 13 to 17 so this is why we have to write a journal references so how many of them understand how many of them understood those are understand you can type in the u u in the chat box this is only for the periodical only for the journal journals uh, reference i'm talking here journal yes anita is good okay thank you so present understand yes so yes good stay with the right yeah thank you thank you now i'm going to extend with the book for example only the two things uh, i may focusing you in the book which is comes is italic see here always the book title journal title kindly uh, here book title and journal title should be italic the title the title of the book or title of the journal should be italic that is why in the book the title of the book is ICT in education i put make it as here italic but in this context of the journal journal name is a book name journal name is a book name therefore here it comes the italic but in this case this part is may come to the sources in the journal part this part i'm marking the part is come as the sources but in the context of the book this part is called as a title so because i already mentioned that there's a four um, um, elements in the book what is the element the publisher name for example i am publishing the book uh, in the profit publisher there is a publisher name profit publisher so profit publishers it not be italic so there is a mistake full stop so just i'm going to control it okay so if you are writing a uh, book reference you can go with this so this is called profit publisher it's not be italic in the context of the standalone work standalone work but in the context of the journal work these two things should be italic uh, now this is a book reference what are the elements you are finding from one is a name then year then title of the work the third one is called sources the same manner in the journal what is the sources so name year then title of the work then sources what is the sources the journal education volume number issue number then page number so this is the resources okay um i hope now you understand how to do it yes um i'm going back yes so just i'm sharing these things format uh this for the some of the sources element just i'm coming back to the uh, some of the example then you can come with this reference categories lot of reference categories are there more than 114 examples are there i request to look on to these things in, in the ppt itself just i'm going with the uh, periodical how we can write a periodical reference this is an example we are already talking about author date title of the article title of the periodical journal name uh, issue number then issue number then this is called page number so suppose you find a DOI, DOI is called digital object identifier. If you want, you can use the DOI number. Uh, so it's not compulsory to add the DOI number. If you're finding the DOI number, you can use the DOI number, otherwise leave it. This is an example. See the example. Uh, I'm coming with the, our example, then easy for you. I'm coming for the our example. See here. Uh, kindly tell what is that what is the example it is a journal it is a journal example or a book example this uh, I am marked here now I request all to give you the answer is it a book is it a book reference or a journal reference is it a book reference or journal reference whenever you are finding the issue number volume number or page number damn sure it's called journal so this is called journal reference so I yeah see here the journal reference what you are seeing this for the title of the work is written by them that's why it's not italic but see this is italic what is italic here the italic this one so what is the italic in the sense just i'm getting this 
yeah this is a italic this is an italic uh, what are the things italic in the sense the journal title as well as the issue number it should be italic then page number so just if you come down you are finding the other book also just i'm showing the one book example then you can understand how we can write in book yes so i'm coming to the one book example so your things is journal yeah now see here some book example uh, best john w best then research in education book title is in italic the publisher name the publisher name is not in italic so this way we can go with this i request to all to look on this ppt because this ppt describe uh, different different elements of the uh, apa uh, you can look on it from your end and so i am giving the lot of description like books and reference work and then how we can write in books and reference how we can go with uh, edited book chapters then how we can go with uh, reports uh, reports and grey literature yeah? then how we can go with online uh, then softwares conference sessions presentations then dissertation pieces how we can add so everything i mean give us a crystal clear descriptions kindly look on it then unpublished work so here after only you are going to publish how we can go with this this for the data sets and uh, this for the computer software for suppose you are getting some mobile apps how we can use as a reference if you are using some kind of text scales how we can add the reference audio visual suppose you are seeing some videos that video so if you want to quote it how we can add this things then audio visual works then another one is for the online media so on the online media how we can write in twitter facebook post everything we can convert as an api style so nearly 109 sorry even website websites are so there so there is a 114 there is 114 examples i quoted here i share the ppt kindly look on it only the things uh, for the net purpose you can look on the two important thing one is called book reference as well as the journal reference these two things regularly is asked in the net examinations that's why i request you all to look on the first two books as well as the uh, periodic references so thank you all